Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're talking about a category of belay device that are sometimes called ATCs or belay plates. Now these aren't assisted braking devices like the Grigri. These are a bit simpler, cheaper, and you can use double ropes in them. So it offers lots of versatility to a climber doing that. Now we've streamlined this category down a little bit more and the belay devices that we're talking about today, well, they're more aimed at big wall multi-pitches and all of them have a guide mode built in. This is not an instructional video. If you want to learn how to use these devices, there's lots of information out there on the internet, and I've put relevant videos down in the description below. Okay, so we're looking at three different devices, and it's worth mentioning that this is not a sponsored video either. We've simply gone through the products in the Epic TV shop, use our own experience, your feedback, and shop sales to come up with this list. So the first one on our top three is from Black Diamond, and I'm excited by this because I used to use the ATC Guide when out in the mountains, but Black Diamond have come up with a streamlined, lighter alternative, the ATC Alpine Guide. The Alpine Guide is a more compact, lighter version of BD's normal ATC plate. It's designed for double or single ropes from 6.9 millimeters to 9 millimeters, and it's just 73 grams. As with all of these devices, there's an extra hole in the back, which is used to set up a direct belay. And that locks the ropes if the climber or climbers were to fall. Now it can be tricky to set this up and there's a dedicated video down in the copy below to show you how to do this. The Alpine Guide has an oval shaped anchor hole, which helps improve handling whilst in that guide mode. As I said, I've used the ATC for years and it is a great bit of kit. It's completely bomb proof, but it is a bit bulky. You can feel it on your harness and when you have both in your hands like this, you can really feel that weight difference. So if you're looking for something more streamlined, then obviously the Alpine Guide is where you wanna go. But usually with lighter weight comes less durability and you won't be able to chuck this around quite as much as its big brother or sister over here. However, treat it right, it will last a long time. It still feels chunky, it still feels solid in the hand. And that's one of my favorite things about this device. Around 26 euros on the Epic TV shop. And as always, there are links down below. Okay, next up is the Petzl Reverso. The Reverso is an update to the Reverso 4, and it's two grams lighter than that model at 57 grams. This puts it firmly in the fast and light category. It can take single ropes from 8.5 millimeters to 10.5 and double ropes from 7.1 to 9.2 millimeters. It has higher smoothed off edges that decreases wear and improves the life expectancy of your rope. Ropes seem to glide through this device. And in fact, it's so smooth, it takes a bit of getting used to. The Reverso is currently around 29 euros on the Epic TV shop, and it feels like a classy product. It is so smooth and the rope, as I said, glides through it. And you can really feel the weight difference when you're looking at the ATC guide and uh, the Alpine guide and the Reverso. Big difference in the hand and in terms of how streamlined it is as well. Now, often this comes down to personal preferences and both the Reverso and the Alpine guide have this little hole in the front, which you can use to lower the climber using quite a lot of power if they fall off because that's the disadvantage of the direct belay guide system, is that when they fall off, you need to release the rope. Now, this is fine 90% of the time, but one company has come up with a different solution to this. So it's time for the DMM Pivot to come into its own. The Pivot weighs 72 grams and costs around 31 euros on the Epic TV shop. It can take single ropes from 8.7 to 11 millimeters and halves from 7.3 to 9.2 millimeters. It works in a similar way to the other two in terms of setup, but it has an extra movable shackle piece on the back. This is for lowering the climber in guide mode and it's a very simple and easy process compared to the other two, reducing the force needed on the cranking carabiner and making it simpler. That pivot function is not a gimmick. It really improves the ease of lowering a climber and it's a great thing that might help you in a tricky situation. 
Now, obviously, this movable shackle is what the DMM pivot is all about, but that doesn't stop it being a great belay device when you're using it from the hip, top roping, lead climbing, whatever. It works absolutely brilliantly. That pivot is just an added little feature that really can save you in a tricky situation. Don't be fooled into thinking that every carabiner will fit into that lowering hole on any of the devices. A lot of the brands have a specific carabiner that they make within their range for that purpose. You can sometimes find one, for example, uh, this screw gate here fits nicely into that hole, but it doesn't on the other devices. So just bear that in mind if you're taking it out onto the mountain and you haven't used it, you haven't tested that carabiner, that it could prove to be a bit of a problem out there in the field. Okay, so which one would I go for? Well, it's really hard to decide because they all do different things. If you want something different and you're direct belaying, guide belaying a lot with people who fall off and you want that lower function, go for the pivot. The Petzl Reverso, well, that's one for you gram counters out there because it is really lightweight, but you're gonna have to look after it a little bit more than the Black Diamond ATC Alpine Guide, which is a bit bulkier, a bit chunkier, and will handle a bit more abuse than the other belay plates. So it's kind of up to you what type of climbing that you do, but regardless, you can find all of these products linked down below in the description so you can check them out on the Epic TV shop. That's it for this week. Do let me know in the comments below which one of these is your favorite, and I'll see you next week.